What's up? This is Squad 2448. We're following the 2017 video. Today we'll be doing a fall leaf cleanup here on the mulling map. We'll be hopping the 2017 Ford Raptor and we'll be making our way over to the lawn care shop. At the drops that we do have the Ram 3500, the Walker Mower, and a few leaf blowers with us to help us clean up all the leaves at the lawn. And we're making our way over to the lawn care shop to pick up the Chevy dump truck with the Skag leaf vacuum on the back, which should be very helpful this was a very highly requested video and I am excited to use the leaf blower since we haven't used that and also the leaf vacuum which should be pretty cool and I would like to thank each and every one of you for the continued support on the daily content I'm very excited for very cool videos coming to you guys and new games also coming to the channel which should be pretty cool the Ford Raptor is one amazing pickup truck I really do like this one a lot it's perfect for off-roading so I think we'll be taking this off-roading maybe even going on uh, mudding on some trails which should be pretty cool but it's a great vehicle to drive to and from the lawn care shop looks like back there the back of the truck did want to kind of come out on us so sometimes when you give so much acceleration this truck just wants to go since it has that 3.5 EcoBoost which is a pretty fast engine so we'll be opening up their garage door we'll be hopping in the Chevy dump truck and we'll be making our way into the town and we also do have a brand new mod installed which is cones we could pick up and place cones all over the map which is pretty cool I really do like that feature we'll be using that today also to kind of help out to make sure nobody will kind of uh, hit our truck so we'll be heading out here I really do like this truck a lot and you guys can see it's fully closed in almost like a tree truck but this is for leaves only and you guys can see the leaf vacuum on the back we'll be kind of unloading the walker right where the pipe ends which should be pretty helpful we won't have to lift heavy barrels of leaves up into the truck anything like that and this will actually kind of shred up the leaves just a little bit and it looks like this kind of wanted to swing out on us we do have to be pretty careful driving with this on the turns but I really do like today's setup and if you guys would like to see more lawn care cleanups, let me know down below in the comments. I'm very excited for the fall season, soon to be winter, where we'll be doing a lot of snow plowing, everything like that. And yes, this trailer looks like is trying to give us a few problems, so we'll just have to drive pretty slowly over the ups and downs of the roads. Now this is a pretty quiet truck which I definitely need to work on it does have an old Duramax underneath the hood but you guys can see pretty nicely done and you guys can see the house in the background I mean there are a lot of leaves and this is uh, pretty much the same way we are cleaning up just like we did back in FS15 which was also pretty cool if you guys would like to check those out those were very awesome videos it was a little a while ago but take a look at that guys we have a full lawn full of leaves so I think we'll just kind of go around the circle area and then we'll kind of come back around and that did take us just a little bit of while to kind of get over here sometimes it does take us just a little bit of while but that's okay and the walker mower will probably do very quick work just that we'll have to do a lot of emptying of the truck so you guys can see we arrived here this looks to be good we'll kind of park right here leaving just enough room right there so next up we want to kind of pick up this cone we want to put this at the very back of our area I put one right there that's because we were not here yet but now since we're here I want to put one way back here that looks to be good we'll be using cones in almost every new video that requires it for safety reasons and I think the first blower we'll be coming to get uh, will be the uh, handheld leaf blower so we got this one we'll kind of just go around the house kind of blow all of the leaves in Awesome. So as you guys can see, we are blowing the leaves away from the house, which is going to be helpful. And take a look at this, guys. I mean, all of the leaves are kind of all over the place. Next up, we'll kind of come over here, kind of blow off the staircase, everything like that, because we want to clean up all of the leaves. And guys, there's more leaves still on the tree, so we'll kind of have to do those also. We'll come around here, kind of blow this. Wow, take a look at that. We're doing a pretty good job. And uh, next up, we'll be hopping in the walker mower, and then we'll be using the skag leaf blower later on today so we'll, we'll kind of uh, hop in the walker this is one amazing mower for leaf cleanups that's why we are using it today and then in the next one we will be using the 
probably hopper mower we'll be turning it on and you guys can see this does not one amazing job mowing it you guys can see the fresh grass underneath I mean this is pretty epic I really do like this a lot and uh, these leaf cleanups will definitely have to be more and more since uh, many more leaves are still going to fall so that's it pretty much for the walker already it is yes it is already full so we'll kind of come over here it looks like we did miss one leaf we'll kind of have to clean that one up and I will definitely have to kind of fix this grass texture for the one that uh, happens but that's going to be fine we'll kind of back up here hop out we'll unload this and looks like we are unloading it take a look at that guys the skag giant vac is loading into the back it's all going in that's pretty cool and I'm trying to be as realistic as possible even though you guys can't really see it happening I really want to role play it out as it is since uh, like I was saying I really do strive for the realism so I think one pass around this house and then it's going to be already full again I mean this walker has a very large uh, container and I mean we are just filling it up to the max even though it feels like a, it's a pretty small one because there is just a lot of leaves around so there are some leaves that we will have to kind of rake up and uh, probably come back for another pass maybe even but we're just going to continue around and take a look at this walker I mean walkers are known for their leaf cleanup and uh, just how good of a mower they are so we'll kind of continue down and take a look at that so the walker is pretty much full we have to come empty it again so just a lot of empty and kind of coming back and forth doing this a few times we'll kind of tip it up awesome so we got this one unloaded we'll kind of come way back over here and we'll be just continuing it and as you guys can see a few of you are probably asking why isn't the other section of the town kind of full of leaves especially since uh, this is grass and I am just uh, changing the graphics of to have it leaves but the other side of the town every other uh, house has the town grass which is not mowable and I did have to go uh, through the map and replace all of the grass which did take a little bit of while but I thought that that would be very realistic to do instead of having no grass and I think probably once we do the side uh, section we'll have to unload if you guys would like to see more leaf cleanups before winter let me know down below in the comments we, we have many different houses that do need to be cleaned up with the leaves so we're just gonna go along here trying to clean this up we do want a really nice job that did pretty good right over there for the cleanup and yes we will be using the stack to kind of blow all of the leaves kind of uh, in the back and everything like that so we'll be using that uh, very soon so we'll kind of back up and while this is unloading like I was saying we'll be hopping in this I do apologize for any lag I do strive to have really high quality content in each and every single one of the videos so we'll be turning this on and we'll just kind of go along the property line kind of blow more uh, towards our way which should help us out so we'll kind of back up and as we kind of go it will actually blow leaves which is pretty cool you guys can see as we are going back it is blowing the leaves a little bit uh, closer to our side of this section which is good I really do not want to kind of uh, go on theirs and I do want to clean up the edge of the property line really really well so we'll just kind of go in sometimes you do have to kind of go backwards sometimes you have to go forwards and it uh, looks like we just have to kind of back around as we kind of continue to blow all of the leaves and I think we'll only do this section since there's a house right over there now you guys can see we still do have a lot a lot of leaves yet so that's pretty much it for the property line because like I was saying we only needed to do it for the house over here to the right we do not want the leaves kind of going over there and using this skag blower really does help us out blow all of them away so I think we'll probably kind of focus now on the side and then we will kind of go and then do the uh, back of it and hopefully we are able to finish this leaf cleanup leaf cleanups do take more and more time than uh, just a regular mowing since you have to kind of stop every uh, few passes to empty it out so we'll turn the walker blades back on and I think we might be using the X mark with a bagger system not exactly sure yet uh, we do have the option to install it so we might be installing that onto the laser Z that way we could get some action of that cleaning up the leaves but I mean this walker mower like we're saying is known for a really good job on leaf cleanups so that's why I chose to use it today you guys can see though that the grass underneath is really good really green grass which is perfect so I think we'll just do a few more passes in the back and then we'll kind of uh, go empty it out then we might be able to kind of uh, jam pack 
a few extra passes into each one. So we'll do one more after this, and then we will definitely go empty out. And I would like to thank each and every one of you for the continued support. You guys are awesome with all the very cool positive feedback. And I'm very excited for all the pretty cool videos coming to all of you very, very soon. So we just filled up this walker. It looks like we just missed this section. I will have to look into making the leaves not as tall and uh, try to make it more realistic. But we are using the brand new Dodge. I do get a lot of requests to use the equipment that you do get in the upgraded videos, which we always try to do. And I just want to be realistic with all of it. So we're going to come over here, unload the walker now. We do not have any unloading animations which should be pretty cool but we got that unloaded you guys can see it's going into the back of the dump truck and I mean it's going to be one full dump truck probably by the end of the week since I think we'll be doing a lot more leaf cleanups everything like that so I think we'll kind of finish up here then we'll be calling it a day we'll turn this back on and the walker is very efficient also pretty fast and I do not really like how it's kind of cutting, like, almost triple the cutting width of what it really should. That's not too realistic, and I will be looking into that also, because I really want to strive for the realism, even though uh, we do not have all the animations. I do try to be as realistic by going back to the uh, leaf vacuum every time to kind of unload into that, which also does chop up the leaves another time. So it's getting smaller and smaller as we do kind of... Uh, unload and load the leaves into that so I mean one more pass here and we should pretty much be done with the cleanup I really do like the, uh, that extra wheel in the back that means that uh, the container could be actually very heavy and the mower will not have any driving problems or you will not need to add extra weight to the front of it which is always very very nice and very helpful for us but take a look at that guys today was a very successful leaf cleanup we'll do one last uh leaf blow kind of in the driveway and in the street making sure that none kind of went in there as we went along kind of doing one final one which is pretty realistic to do so we'll kind of load this walker up and then we'll do that Awesome, so we got this one loaded up. We'll definitely load up the Skag uh, Leaf Blower. We do not use this too much. It's very heavy, and it does not have self-propulsion, so you do definitely have to push it, which also takes a lot of energy. But we'll kind of start this up, kind of blow underneath the trailer. Just kind of continue. We'll do the driveway last blow all underneath here, getting all of the leaves. And actually, what we want to do is kind of spread out any of the chopped leaves right about there. So that's pretty good. We'll kind of uh, put that away and come over here. And I think we'll just kind of blow down this section. Awesome. So we did that section. We'll kind of come over here to this side. We'll be doing all over here, getting all of the leaves out of the uh, walkways, keeping it really clean. And that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's fall leaf cleanup. Let me know if you guys would like to do more leaf cleanups. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.